intense showdown in Game 1. We expect nothing less here in Game 2. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Takes the puck. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Delayed penalty looming. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Running the interference plays as part of the game, but you can't impede the forward progress of your opponent. That's a two minutes interference call. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you when you score first, chances are you win the game. The Tornadoes gain control of the puck. Sends it to the middle. And it goes off a stick and off target. And the puck clears the zone. And all alone on the breakaway. Scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in his playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Great play from start to finish as he executes with some great speed to break away from the pack. And then it's all about the execution. When you're one-on-one -on -one with a goaltender, you bring yourself back to your practice days and you use your move. St. Petersburg's talked a lot about getting off to good starts. And look at this, case in point right here. Well, yeah, you get up by one goal early in the game and it just creates momentum all around your bench. Everyone gets on the ice. They want to contribute. They want to be the one to get the goal on the board and continue to increase this lead. I think they've been real effective to start this game. Good use of the body on the play. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. He's the emotional leader of this team, and he typically scores in this type of situation, but the goaltender shuts that. Great score! Putting it home on the power play, and we have even things up here tonight. Right from the beginning of that power play, James, there just was a confidence about them, the way they own the puck, the precision in the movements, the motion in the offensive zone, and they cash in to tie this game. Well, that goal is not just about the offense, but the energy that it provides. I mean, all you have to do is have a look at the bench and you can recognize how much he means to this room. The Peets take possession after that neutral zone faceoff. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you got to be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Made that stop. Oh, spectacular save on the play. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The Tornadoes are getting penalized for slashing. Petersburg's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Galchenyuk's looking to win this draw on this man advantage here. Nizhny Novgorod's got a hold of the puck. Solid check to slow him down. Oh, great poor strength to hang on to the puck after that. And he denied it there. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. It's amazing at an emotional charge and what it can do for your team in particular when someone who scores it does the dirty work. They work hard, they're courageous in their play, and they exhibit the intangible. 
The Peets have gone up by one here in the opening frame. How does this now change the complexion of this one? Well, I think it's really important because they got momentum right now. More jump to their step, and now they'll want to try and stay aggressive and increase that lead, take the momentum, and use it to their advantage. Here's a chance to the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. Here's a chance, and that caroms off a body in the lane. Takes that pass back at the point. that they've shown throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. Well, good defense leads to offense, James, as they bend, but they do not break in their own coverage, and they're able to get the quick counter attack, speed through the neutral zone, and they're rewarded for their efforts in the offensive zone with a goal. More than half the period has expired. It's all tied up. Nizhny Novgorod's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone face-off. The Peets gain possession in their own end. Gives them a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Well, he's going to sit two minutes for the slashing call here as he's hacks and whacks his way to the box. I mean, this is a deserved penalty. Everyone saw it. Well, listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Sometimes it's emotional leadership that comes into play, and that's exactly what this goal means to this entire bench. As you see, everyone erupts when he scores. St. Petersburg's gone in front by one here in the back half of the first, and how does this change the complexity of the game? Well, it's a lot better being ahead than it is being behind, James, and they're ahead now, so they've got the go-ahead goal. They'll want to continue to press. Know that the coaching staff is going to be looking to manipulate the lineup to get the matchups that they want. Listen, their opponent is vulnerable these next two shifts. They need to respond accordingly. The Tornadoes have it now. Nizhny Novgorod's got a hold of it against the wall. They've got numbers. Takes a shot. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Smart read on the play as both centers were tied up on the draw. There's the horn, still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. <sighs> Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James, and I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, some players are just glue players. They make everyone around them better, and he is one of those, James. I mean, his ability to create and pass the puck is unbelievable. He knows where everyone is on the ice. He can manipulate coverage, and that pass is just a clear display of his skill. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice faceoff. Shot! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got and the traffic neutralizes that threat. Takes it 
into the slot. Too much traffic in the lane. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Grabs the puck in the corner. Here's a blast. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. That's going to be a slashing call. Anytime you come over the top or you hit the equipment and the ref is there, you're going to get a two-minute penalty. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man has it been effective. Leipzig got it in the offensive zone. Here's a great try to shake the defender. All alone. Great save. And sends it ahead to Leipzig. Karad's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the place is to attack is. Played big in the moment there. St. Petersburg's got it in their own end with time against them. Here we go, on the run, run. Answered the call there. And he runs the post! Now the adrenaline you're getting yourself to the right spot at the right time with an opportunity to go ahead in the game. Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. Well, there's the horn, and that means two periods down, and there's still a critical third to play. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. Nizhny Novgorod's going to have to work quickly here on this man advantage if they hope to strike. And that's deflected off someone in front. Solid shorthanded performance there as both teams are now back to even strength. The Peets move the puck in the defensive zone. Galchenyuk's been tripped up and we got a penalty coming up here. And let's see what the call is. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. St. Petersburg's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. When the power play is working, James, man, does it feel good. Everything is working. The systems, the coach is happy, the team is happy. Everything is working in their favor. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to battle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Huge stop by Huskar. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Oh, they have really got the cycle going. Here's a feed. Another pass. Trying to get it out of the road end. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. A chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Huska's got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and coach can get the right personnel out there. Receives the pass, and that's blocked away. St. Petersburg's on the attack. What a steal in his own end. One-on-one on one with the goaltender! Stopped on the breakaway! What a save he made there! Well, I loved how he challenged the 
shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint. He said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. He's really turned it up a notch now. Shot just gets a piece of it to keep it out wide. Across the line from center. Grabs the puck. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. Fantastic save from a high range of scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Ventura just got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Quick snap! Oh, what a slick stop by Huska! A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender in a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. the horn for regulation and it solves nothing overtime coming up right after this and we are just moments away from overtime it's golden goal time overtime let's do it strong defensive effort the defensive zone. Game on a stick! And he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime! This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Bell Reeves won the draw. Taken by Bowie. Blast from the blue line! Tenacious effort, and they get rewarded with the OT victory. Well, this is just a great job to get the hands away from the body and deflect that puck into the net as it changes direction. Goaltender doesn't have a chance. do it for tonight's postseason action but the playoffs roll on and we will see you at the next game from all of us here at ea sports i'm james sabalski good night